Scams are like meeting a flat earther. You never really think it'll happen to you until you find yourself knee deep in a situation you never wanted to enter. That's what happened to me. Thankfully, only the former though. In this video, I'm going to discuss the complex way these scammers con my colleague out of thousands and how I managed to get my money back by scamming the scammers. And maybe you can learn from both our mistakes. A few weeks ago, my friend showed up to work and told me he was making about $800 a month for about five minutes of work a day. And it didn't even involve nudity. The only catch is you had to deposit a minimum $1,000 into some random guy's bank account. He showed me the website called Wonder world vip which required you to post fake reviews on the products and you then receive a small commission for the product you rated he said it had an australian abn and also had 24 7 live support he said that he had already gotten paid out 500 dollars. however this is after he already deposited thousand dollars into the website obviously only an idiot would believe this ponzi scheme and i'd be a moron to even consider so later that day i deposited a thousand of my hard-earned dollars into the stranger's bank account but after three days something strange happened the money i deposited actually appeared on the website after only about two minutes of work i had already supposedly made 30 dollars doing fake ratings for money max 20 reviews a day the first of many red flags i was amazed all four of my brain cells truly thought that i'd stumble across an untapped market i started thinking about all the luxuries i could now afford a premium fuel in my car a tier 3 pokey sub and a real doctor not some guy off facebook marketplace offering a free prostate exam and this is where the problems began half the website was in chinese and the stuff that wasn't was written in poorly translated English. For example, the profile tab was simply called My, and most of the sentences had really weird capitalization. When you clicked on a social media tab, it was empty. So I found a Facebook page that was filled with people asking the company when they would receive their money, with zero replies from WW, another red flag. Further research led me to a small Reddit thread asking about WW, with what appeared to be only two serious replies saying stay away. The other responders saying that they had made thousands using the app with no issues at all. But upon looking at their profiles, they were all new accounts with the only activity being on that thread. That was all I needed to come to my senses and realized I wanted my money out of that website website faster than you can say COVID-19. That's when things took a turn for the worse. To withdraw your money, you had to enter a withdrawal code. Yes, for some reason it was different from your login code. I was never told about this and now my phone number and ID seem to be both hidden or removed from my account. I messaged the WhatsApp number my friend gave me and this is what happened. Hi, I'm one of the users on your website. I'm trying to make a small withdrawal, but I keep getting this message. After a few minutes, he bluntly stated, provide your name, ID, mobile phone number, and the password you want to set in this chat or on your app send me here is it possible just for me to set it only i can change it please rest assured that our chat history is deleted once a day it was looking more and more likely that i had just become another victim of internet fraud and honestly the idea of giving a stranger my internet login password seems sketchier than downloading ram online after a few days later and once the self-hatred started subsiding i came up with one last idea i told them i was only withdrawing money for my daughter's fifth birthday and i promised them that i'd send back five times what i originally put in once i received some goodwill from them obviously i was never going to do that nor did i actually have a five-year-old daughter once i said the word the guy instantly started giving me helpful advice on how to get my ID and withdraw the money. And thankfully, I had my rent paid on time. And less than a week later, the website disappeared without a trace. Sadly, my workmate had, at that point, invested a few thousand dollars in wonderfulworld.vip, and he will most likely never see that money again. It turns out the internet can agree on one thing, and it's never trust the internet. Thank you for watching.